Different generations have been coming together in the workplace for a very long time. In fact, it's one of the few places where they do get together and spend significant amounts of time together. The generational mix has changed significantly in a relatively small amount of time and that is leaving a lot of managers feeling a little bit out of their comfort zone when it comes to managing a different sort of team. So here are a few things that you can do that might make that challenge a little easier. The first thing to do is to get over the stereotypes. I'm sure that you're not a very uh, typical baby boomer or generation X or whatever uh, generation you uh, uh, belong to any more than any member of your team would think that they are a typical millennial or generation X. The key to the many is very often the one because we are all a one so the first thing is to manage one at a time. The second thing that you can do is that you can think in terms of career stage rather than generational tribe. I'm sure that when uh, all of us were at an early part of our, uh, of our careers, we wanted the same sorts of things that we are seeing now in uh, the millennial generation. We want access to leaders, we want to make a difference, we want to be given the chance to take responsibility and to be involved. That doesn't mean to say that it's not worth doing our homework and learning as much as we can about the environment, educational or the home environment or the cultural environment in which this current generation has learned to thrive. And one way that you can do that homework um, is with our, um, our white paper on how to motivate um, and lead Millennials and Generation Z which is on the resources section of our website. That will help to dispel some of the myths with some very solid research. And the third thing that we can do uh, is that we can make ourselves the most flexible person in the room, which is always the greatest management challenge. And yet as a manager, it's our responsibility to be able to be flexible um, and to be able to respond to the needs of the individual and to the team. So one of the ways that we can help with that is with our secrets of success uh, a guide which is also downloadable and that will outline Dale Carnegie's human relations principles a very practical toolkit on personal flexibility. So the final point really is to take responsibility for the relationships with our younger members of our team and to really take seriously our, 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 uh, our task to attract, engage and retain uh, new and young talent. Uh, because that will be our competitive advantage.